Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about a free email client you could use for all of your accounts. It's called EM Client. So this is free for personal use. You can see we have a free license here, but if you want to have it for three devices, you could have the personal one, your subscription, and then there's a business subscription. So I'm running the free one here. And you can see down here, mobile versions of the EM Client do not need a license and are free to use. So this is available for Windows, Mac OS, Android, and maybe some others. All right, so I have it installed and running here with a couple of accounts configured. So I'm just going to go over the basics and just kind of show you how it works and then show you how to add an account and then you could play with it yourself because there are a lot of features here. So it would take a long time to show you everything. So if you're not a fan of the new Outlook for Windows app that replaced Windows Mail, this might be a good substitution for you. All right, so I have two email accounts configured. I have an Outlook.com and a Yahoo.com. And you can see when I click on each one, it shows the emails for those particular addresses. And then I could click on all inboxes to see everything in one place. Then we could also see the unread emails, anything that's been flagged. And then down here we have local folders. So if you want to create some local folders, you could do that. So I have this one for old emails that I just dragged some old emails into that are kept locally here. And then you could shrink this up if you don't want to see it. And then you have your preview pane down here, which you could actually put on the side if you don't want it on the bottom. And of course you have all your columns that you could sort by as well. And then it does the same thing as other email clients where it won't download the pictures unless you tell it that it's safe. So I could do that and have it download the pictures. And then up here we have our options for replying. It even has some AI features if you want to have some replies created for you. Reply to all forward. You could mark them with specific categories here or read or unread. You could archive them. You could snooze them. There are some quick actions here. So I set up one for delete forever, control D. So if you click on manage, you can see this one. And then you could add a new one, give it a name, give it a shortcut, then add your quick action item here, like so. All right, and then down at the bottom here, we have calendar. So right now it's showing calendar items for both accounts with different colors for each one. And then you could uncheck one if you don't want to see the calendar events for that one. Then you could just double click it, pick what kind of event you want to set up, standard or online meeting. Then just add your information here, pick which calendar you want to put it on, show advanced options if you want to do some more information there, then just save it and close it. All right, and then you could sort your calendar view, day, work, week, week, upcoming month, and agenda. Edit and delete your items. And then here we have contacts. So if you want to see them for each account, so this account doesn't have any contacts, add some contacts for your history, view your attachments, and so on. Then you have your business card view, phone list, edit, move to folder, delete. Then here we have some other items, such as tasks. If you set up any tasks, if you want to see all of your attachments, this is a nice feature. This shows you the attachments in your emails, uh, notes, and you have stuff for widgets and chat and some navigation options. If you want to remove something from the list that you're not going to use. All right, then up here we have some new items, so new mail, new event, new meeting, contact, distribution list, and so on. And if you click on the three lines here, you could print, backup, check for updates, uh, set up email rules, uh, quick actions again, tags again, reminders, and so on. And then there's some settings. So quite a few settings, so I'm not going to go through all these, obviously, but you can see the various categories here for general settings. And you have appearance settings, mail settings, encryption, calendar contacts, and so on. So quite a bit of settings there. Then you have, you know, typical menus here, file menu, edit and view and message and tools. And of course, some help. All right, let's go to accounts. 
So here are the accounts here. You could edit them from here, delete them, set as default, so on. So let's add an account. Let's add a Gmail account here. So all you need to do is put in your address. And click on start. You could change the name if you want. All right, so you could set up encryption if you want for this account, but I'm just going to do it without encryption. All right, click on finish. You could even change the avatar. For some reason, it didn't find the Gmail avatar. So it's going to open up your web browser to give EM client access to your Google Gmail account here. Put in the password. Then you have to go through the security here. So we'll get a verification code, type that in. All right, continue. All right, select the permissions. I'm just going to do everything. This is just a test account, so I'm not too worried about it, but you should go through these before you agree to everything. And depending on what type of email account you're setting up, this will be different, what you see on the uh, web page here. You know, like for Outlook or Yahoo, the permissions are different, so just keep that in mind. All right, click on Finish. All right, save and close. All right, so now it's syncing the inbox with the Gmail account here. So this will take some time. All right, so that's still syncing. You can see the emails coming in. And you can even see it has the categories here, just like Gmail does, which is a nice feature. All right, so then when you do a new email, for example, you could pick which account you want to send it from. And you have all the typical items here, you know, for attachments, importance, Add a signature, quick text, replies, AI tools, bold italics, and so on. And then some extra items here, quite a few actually. So you can see there is quite a bit to this email program. Then you can see this one even kept the Gmail label as inbox. And then over here we have some other shortcuts for contact details, agenda, invites, and calendar. All right, so as you can see, there is quite a bit to this program here. So like I said, if you're not happy with your current email program, you might want to give this a shot. All right, so I'll put a link in the description where you could download EM Client and you could try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.